38. And in today's episode, I believe we're taking our first ever urgent delivery. I think we've done an important delivery before. I don't think we've done an urgent one. So this is going to be interesting to see if we are capable to do it. Um, but before we get into it, make sure you like and subscribe or watch your YouTube, follow me on Twitch, try to get to 100. Uh, well, no, I've just reached 120 followers. Thank you for that. Uh, so, <laughs> if you're ready though, like and subscribe watching YouTube. Uh, check out the link in the description below for the playlist. He proves episodes all the future ones, depending when you're watching this. Of course, check out the channel. I'm still streaming as well. Someone just favorited me 15 minutes ago. Wow, amazing. Right. Um, so, uh, there we go. Here's the game. Right, so this is the one we're going to take. We're going to take eight empty pallets from Barcelona to Linz. It's going to be a total of 44, well, nearly 45,000 pounds. Um... 45 plus 177, um, 182, 222, 222. So it's not enough to buy a driver. So we need about £10,000 from our drivers to get us there because that will obviously pay for all our tolls to go through and our fuel uh, as well along the way because obviously we're going through France, Germany, quite a lot of tolls through there. And we are going over 1,000 miles. So I think two tanks of fuel considering it is 22 hours this is gonna be really really tight because they want it on they want it before thursday 10 o'clock that's less than that's less than 24 hours no sorry that's more than 24 hours so it's, it's gonna be tight it's gonna be tight it's gonna be tight yeah we'll continue yeah yeah, yeah. we're gonna be the full 40 ton weight um, oh, parking brake engaged. Done. 15, there we go. Right. Hazards on. Where am I going? Right behind us. Right behind us. Keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. Swing back. It was the chrome trailer that was parked up that was a two axle. I've changed it to a three axle. Uh, the two axle one only allowed us 19 tons of cargo. The three axle allows us to go all the way to 25, all the way to 40. Oh, parking brake was engaged. I thought I turned it off. Um, it's a bit weird. Right, we're off. We're out of here. Can we just pull straight onto the road? Yes, we can. Evening, evening, evening. Right, we've got to rush out of here. So we've got over a thousand miles. Uh, we've we haven't got much time uh, with this urgent delivery. Uh, we've only got four hours until we need to sleep. So um, we need to make. Quite a bit of distance. There we go, around there. Oh, that's, yeah, 50 kmh. There's a train somewhere. Because it's dinging, which means we might be delayed. Because I don't know if the train's going. The train's going through the roundabout. Um. Where is it? I don't see no train. No train, nothing. That's just delayed us for no reason. Right. 
We've discovered a Renault truck dealer. Oh, just driven past it. one and straight out here uh, which is onto another roundabout which we take the second exit this exit here and we should be on the motorway Use as much of the slip road as possible to get as fast as possible before joining. We then need to make our way over. There you go, they've gone. So make our way over. They've absolutely slammed the brakes on. We can go all the way up to 90 kmh still. Break down to 50. And break again. Yes. Ooh, really slow down all the way to 60 kmh. The truck is really not braking. We are speeding quite heavily. There you go, it's the brake is just a little bit more. Right, hopefully we can get out of Barcelona. Well, I'm hoping to make it to the uh, petrol station just before the Spanish-French border. Um, that's the one we should stop at for fuel and sleep. Should make it all the way out there. We've still got over a thousand miles to go. I mean, we haven't even we haven't well, we haven't even got our Barcelona yet. So, um, you know, got ages to go. Um, I don't think we're going to be buying a truck after our first sleep anyway. I think we've definitely got to sleep twice. So possibly after our second sleep, we might be able to buy another truck okay we can go all the way up now to 50 mile an hour yep yeah, we're going to stay in this lane there we go oh, that's a 56 mile an hour now slow down those red flashing lights are actually really good. Helps warn us a little bit more. Yeah, use as much of this as possible. Toll. Okay, the next toll. Get that car go in front of us. Accelerate all the way back up again. I 
Thank you, stream elements, for letting me know what I'm doing. <laughs> Just announcing it in my chat. What? There we go, we're up to 56 mile an hour. Just cruise along now. Uh, we have three hours still to go, so I might actually make it into France before we need to sleep and fill up. That would actually be quite an achievement. Yeah, definitely, definitely after our first sleep, we will not be able to buy another truck for Cardiff. I think we've got only one truck in Cardiff, right? I think. I have to check, I can't remember now. I think, though, no, I think we've got two. I think we might have two. Um... Uh, okay, here's the petrol station before the border, so yes, we will be able to go there, so just want to move over. We don't want to be going into petrol station. Yeah, straight through. Uh, then we have got the toll, which is to exit Spain. So we will make it to France, as we've got two hours and 45 minutes left. The truck is absolutely slamming the brakes on. Well, it was slamming the brakes on, and then it decided not to do that anymore. And we've paid £26. That's not bad. get all the way over. Uh, yes, I know between the French and Spanish borders we have to slow all the way down to 50 kmh. But we can floor it till then. I don't think I'm going to reach 56 mile an hour before then anyway, so we'll just keep the foot to the floor. Really struggling to accelerate up this hill. We're stuck at 54. Fifty-five. Still not at 56 yet. We're still struggling up the hill. It's not changing to 12th. It wants to stay in 11th gear. I can't even change up. There we go, and that changed into it. And it's slamming the brakes on as we've got to slow down to 50 kmh. Through the border we go. Okay, just under two hours remaining now. 
So definitely stop at the next petrol station. And we can go all the way back up again downhill. So should be able to accelerate quite quickly. Coach coming past. There's the yawns, that's an hour and a half until we need to stop. We have got a rest area coming up. Oh, income of £6,000 has just come in from Christine. And here we go then, the French toll. We're gonna beat that truck out. Go on. Yeah, we're gonna go behind this truck in front. We, yeah, we beat the other truck out. And then move over. Got a recovery vehicle going beside us. We are gaining on that truck in front quite quickly. Don't know if they're turning off. But we have reached 90 kmh. I think they have as well now. Uh, we should have a petrol station coming up. Yes, we do. So this is where we are going to stop. So we have an hour left. So we're going to stop in this petrol station, fill up with fuel and rest. These are really tight to actually get into. On, off, go, fill up the fuel. Lovely, 570 quid's worth of fuel. Here we go. Right, so we now go to the rest area, which is over here. Off and sleep. Yeah, two thousand pounds by Simone was the only thing we received. I don't have no beeping. I don't have no beeping now. much speed as we possibly can. On we go. Uh, I don't think we are going towards Paris. We are not, so we do need to get over. Come on, after that car. 
Bueno, hay que caben. Cruise. Right, so we've now got 845 miles to go and 19 hours, it says, until we get there. Uh, it says we've got 32 and a half hours of this remaining, so we definitely have to sleep another go one more time, but uh, I think it is going to be quite tight. Got the toll coming up, so we'll stay in this lane. Twenty six pound, floor it. Yeah, we'll stay in this lane because that truck there. We are gaining. Carlos tried to undertake us, it's not going to work out, as we are going faster. Although, I don't think we're actually going to be able to overtake, I think that truck will get to 90 kmh the same as us, before we get to the back of it. <laughs> Got that car now, that's going to keep going up and down beside us, accelerate, brake, accelerate, brake. Going very slightly faster. We are going past. They're struggling up the hills. Say Leon. Keep flying through. Uh, I'm thinking we should level up after this one, considering we are doing over a thousand miles. We're also doing an urgent delivery. Um, it should be enough to get us to the next level, which means higher award. And I think number six for the fragile cargo. So that will be maxed out. So we'll have ADR maxed out, long distance maxed out, and fragile maxed out. High value only one away. And then after that high value is done, then it's four levels on the urgent uh, and important deliveries. And then it's still six to go on the fuel. So, I mean, we're two... We're 12 levels away from maxing out our achievements. Got another toll coming up. So I need to move over to the middle lane soon. Hello, hello. Right, uh, okay, we need to move over into the middle lane. Right, 
right behind the car so then the barrier doesn't get time to close. There we go, pay the next hole. Sure, there's nothing to our right. Nothing to our right. Off we go. Come on. Get some speed. Uh, in the um, in the ninetieth minute, I was like, "Okay, it's we're here, we go again." Yo, I'm actually going a bit too fast. Oh, uh, Leon, 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 Leon. We are going towards Leon. I need to get over, but there's a flipping. Yeah, thank you, coach, for slowing down. Oh, 10,000 in from Gregory's. And a level up. Nice. I'm going to break down to 50. No, I'll, um, uh, I won't be on tonight. Um, I might be on tomorrow. Okay, we've just come across all the traffic in France. What the, what? Why was there so many cars? Oh, it is 4 p.m. It is peak hour. Uh, I'm hoping I can stay in this lane and I don't need to get over because there's actually no gap at all. It's just absolute traffic everywhere. Yes, we can stay in this lane. We have eight hours still of driving time to go. Sixteen and a half hours till we get there. 723 miles. Quite a lot more tolls to go through here and probably in Germany. Switzerland, ah, Switzerland has tolls as well, don't it? So probably Switzerland. We might get stopped for random uh, inspections in Austria. Um, so that would delay us quite a bit. Seems like everyone's in a queue to go to these services. There's just so much traffic. Can't really complain though, because we are going the speed limit, so it's like, you know, we're not exactly getting held up. We are now. Now we are. And I can't get over. Uh, you can't get over, there's too much traffic. What? What do you mean? A Mario. What do you mean, Mario Kart set? You can you build the Mario Karts. Ooh. That might be 
be interesting. Right, I need to get out of this lane because, yeah, there we go. I've got a gap now. These guys are just going too slow. And now that I'm out in this lane and I'm putting my foot to the floor, suddenly they all speed up. toll coming up so and to be in this lane anyway for the toll yeah now they now they go to speed limit so um, all right everyone's slowing down for the toll So everyone right behind each other. 58 quid. I swear, in this game, I've probably paid over 10 grand in tolls. Right, we can get over to this lane. Madness. Right, we're turning off next junction. So we stay in this lane. We actually need to get over. We're going towards Leon. Oh, actually, I don't know where we're going. Oh, <laughs> what the hell is this junction? How am I meant to know that? Wait, where? Where is this? Geneva. So whatever sign says Geneva, what type of junction is this? I actually don't know. I can't see any signs. I'm going to beep. I don't know where to go. We're going to risk it. We're going to risk this one. We're going to risk it. We were just hold up everyone in France. Yeah, we got the right junction. Uh, oh, I don't know what you sent through. Okay, we went the right way. That is so... That that junction is just... Ooh, I do not like that junction at all. Uh, it's telling us we now need to be in this lane. So we'll get over into this lane. Yeah. It's like Spaghetti Junction. That was horrible. Um. It's stopping you from asking a question. Okay. Right, slow down, slow down, slow down. Off here. That's a bit easier of a junction to go through. Just come through. We can get on.
No. Yeah, I know he's back. I know he's back. Whoa, barrier, man. Up, down, up, down, up, down. Yeah, I think, um, uh, yeah. I don't know why it bans that for. Yeah, I know he's back. He's, he's, um... Um, he's messaging in the group thing again. Right, how long have we got now then? We've got six hours. I think we're coming across the Alps. It looks a bit mountainous. What? Why have you slammed the brakes on for? What the hell? Keep going. Okay, we're all really slowing down. What the... We're meant to be able to go 50 mile an hour through here. Okay. That's saying 70k. Okay. This is a lot of traffic. Uh, two lanes into one. I'm going 50 kmh, but we have to go slower. Okay, they're all gonna go behind me. Oh, that's a bit tight. Oh, we're limited to 50 kmh, 31 mile an hour through here. Right. And now we can go as fast as we like. Let's go. Have we crossed over into Switzerland? Might have done. Or this might be the turn off, last turn off of France. Yes, that's what most people do, to be honest. Because um, it is relaxing to watch. Don't really need to focus that much. Unlike me, I need to focus on everything. Okay, uh, that's a speed limit change, that's... Ah! Yeah. Right. Five hours of drive time remaining. 13 and a half hours till it says we get to our destination. 27 hours until we have to deliver this. And we've still got to do one more sleep. So it's going to be close, actually. Right, we can go all the way back up to 90 kmh. It's going to be actually closer than I think. We've got another toll coming up. Uh, 
Trying to work out if this is a French tile. If this is a French tile, then we're continuing this. I'm gonna go here. I think we can go here, yeah. Yeah, 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 we can go here. There we go. Right, watch the cars on our right. Oh my! Just tries to drive straight into us. Oh, almost went into the wall then. Here we go, now we've reached yeah, into Switzerland because this is the old style of the map. This is obviously getting reworked soon. I'm sure it is the same speed limit as France. No, it isn't. 50, okay. Cool, well, it's at 80 kmh now, 50 mile an hour. Right. Four hours till the drive time, so plenty of time. So we've discovered a bit more of France, and a bit. Um, we're going to discover a bit more, obviously, Switzerland, and we're going to discover more of Austria. I don't think we're going to get to 25% of the map discovered. I think that's a bit too much of a reach. But we are going to discover quite a lot more. I'd say easily at least 500 of our miles that we're driving today are brand new miles we haven't gone across before. Oh, it's breaking me because of the car in front. I don't know why, we were so far away from it, there was no need to slow down. Oh, Simone's just brought in a bit more money. March, yeah. March already. Almost halfway through March already. Oh, come on. I have to sit behind. I've got so much traffic in both lanes. I can't go nowhere. Ah, <laughs> uh, great, great times, great times. Jesus Christ. Didn't damage anything. That was a big, massive bump. That's a big train yard. That's a freight yard. As champions, I don't know. There's four teams in it now. Um, Leicester, Leeds, Ipswich, and Southampton have sneaked back in. So I think I think you'll actually go down to the final two games, and then you'll probably have three out of you lot. And we'll see.
we'll see see who goes up. But it's it's a lot close. It's close. Yeah, but there's still like ten games to go. So, you know, that's thirty points up for grabs for everyone. So it's a long way, long way to go. It's exciting though, having like, you know, but def definitely, definitely those four, like Leicester, Leeds, Southampton and Ipswich, they've made playoffs. Like the, wor the worst they'll do is playoffs. You, you can't, you can't, I don't think you can finish, any of them can finish outside the top six. So... Yeah, but look what happened to Leicester. You know what I mean? It could happen to you. You could go you could go ten games in a row now without winning a game. It can it can happen. It's football. Somehow Chelsea, team I sport obviously, uh is only four points off seventh now. Uh but knowing Chelsea, uh will finish somehow fifteen points off. Um, you know, and probably only six points above relegation at the end of the season, because it's just just how it is, right? I have two and a half hours of drive time remaining, so next petrol station is where we're going to stop. I actually don't see one on the map, but we've got two and up. Yeah, we've got two and a half hours. That's plenty of time. Oh, we slowed down because he was in standing in the road. It caused us to slow down. Yeah, that's what I mean. Le Leicester were Leicester were so clear, and now they're not. So any any team can just lose a game or so. And it's it's the time of the season where like the bottom teams are the worst ones to play because they're fighting to stay up. I wouldn't want to play anyone in the bottom 10. Well, maybe apart from Rotherham because Rotherham are actually stat rubbish. I think they're already relegated. We are slowing down because... What the hell, man, is going on? Just gonna get overtaken now by another truck. Ah. Hmm. Yeah, I just think it's close. I I can't predict. I can't predict like who will actually go up and who will be champions. It's close. I think I think need to wait until there's like only three or four games to go. Then it'll be like easier to see because def definitely one out of you four is gonna drop off. You know because it's it's so close between four. So one one's gonna with three games to go, it's gonna be impossible for one of you to be mathematically like champions or even promoted, and then it'll be like a three horse race, and then that's when that's when it will get exciting. But the Premier League, though, Arsenal's back top of the table again, which means they're definitely not winning the league. Because, you know, they can't hold it out up front. Always bottle it. Oh, it overtook me to pull in front of me to turn off. Hmm. But I'm pretty sure that's the same for... Southampton's manager and Leicester's manager, no? I'm pretty sure they've both been promoted before.
It's just too tough to call. This is his first job as manager. He's doing a pretty good job as if it's his first ever time. Right, we're getting over. Right, that's the yawn, so that's an hour and a half to go. Under Pepper City. Hmm. Hmm. So he might have the curse thing, same as like Arteta, because Arteta was under Pep. And then, um, you know, bottled it as well. With a with a with with a similar lead, I think a fourteen point lead, and he had a fifteen point lead, so might be the same curse. Right, we've got an hour till we need to sleep. There is actually no petrol station in sight. Which is quite worrying. Oh, I see one now. Yes, we have got a petrol station in sight. Oh, I need to get over again. Let me over, 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 let me over. Here. I think we'll just stay in this lane. I think every lane is a turn off lane, so we'll just stay in this one. Yeah, yeah, I know we are tired. We are fine. We're coming up onto the petrol station. I think we've got one more junction to pass, and then it is the petrol station. Uh, no, two more junctions. Two more junctions to pass in the petrol station. We've got 40 minutes. That's plenty of time. Absolutely plenty of time. Alright, this junction and then the next one. I think we might have to get over again. Yeah, we need to get over again. Come on, police. Uh, that's not police, it's just a normal car. Right, I need a there's another normal car coming past. Come on. Oh, we could have stayed in that lane. Okay. 20 minutes. 20 minutes till we need to sleep. To complete this game... Well, I, I don't... It's technically not possible at the moment because they keep adding expansions onto it. Um, so there's two expansion packs coming, which obviously the Greek, the Greek DLC, which is next, with the Greece and Greek islands, and I think m maybe Cyprus. I don't think, I, I don't know. Then you've got the Nordic expansions, which is the top of Finland, Norway, and Sweden. So those expansions are going to come in. So it's you know, and then I'm pretty sure they're the the Russian expansion the Russian DLC hasn't come in yet. There's no Ukraine or Belarus in the game yet. Or Georgia, I think. So they've got to put them in. Uh so 
it's not really possible to complete the game until they've finished all the map expansions. But they haven't got they haven't got much of Europe to do. Oh yeah, they still haven't added an Ireland or Northern Ireland yet either. So Ireland, Northern Ireland. There's two DLCs confirmed. They got the Irish one. They've got to add in Russian one and Ukraine, Belarus, and Georgia. Yeah, a lot. I'm guessing a uh, probably twice the size of the current map has still got to be added in. Pulling off here, twice the size, especially like with Ukraine is the is the biggest whole country within Europe, and you've got Russia to add in, which is the biggest country in the world. Uh, but I don't think they're going to put the whole of Russia. I think only probably up to um, Moscow. Um, Belarus is Belarus isn't that big of a country. Georgia isn't that big. The Nordics ones up there isn't that big. Ireland obviously isn't that big either, but all of them added together is probably the same size as what this current map is. Alright, I'm gonna pull in here. And break on, engine off, and off we go to sleep. We got some money in, Christine brought some money in. And leveled up. Oh, that was the only money we brought in. Right, it says it's eight hours from here to our destination. We have 12 hours to deliver this. But we only have 11 hours drive time. Which means we have to deliver this before we sleep. You're gonna push into one lane. Yeah, we can continue at this speed, fine. So in Switzerland, the speed limit for trucks is the same everywhere. Cool. Motorway. Country roads. Mm. Okay. Just traffic because of this crossroad. Oh, we've come into. Oh, we should. Oh, this is Austria. We've come into Austria. Wow! <laughs> Just pulled straight in front of that coach. Didn't give a single crap. Yeah, we've only got 317 miles to go, but it's seven and a half hours. I'm going to take that off because it's just going to annoy us. Keep in this lane. Ret -ung. I'm guessing that means ambulance. I don't know if I'm going to make it through these lights. We're not exactly moving. I can see the coach up ahead. Obviously in front of the van all the way up there. And the next set of traffic lights is just not moving at all. So... Okay, they're moving now, yeah. And... We're going to wait here. Yeah. <sighs> Bro, 
red light. Might get the, uh, the photo here though. It's quite nice. All those trucks behind us. We can go now. And we're just stuck in traffic again. This is re oh. This is really like eating into our time. So we're not gonna get through this either. I'm not risking it. I'm not risking getting a fine. As soon as it starts flashing, we'll stop. If we were a lighter load, we would have got through, but we are full 40 tons. I thought we were meant to drive through Germany at one point, but I don't remember driving through Germany. I don't think this is Germany. Yeah, D, Deutsche. So we're going towards Germany, yes. Yeah, towards Deutschland, yeah. This is... Okay. Right. On we go then. Yeah, no worries. Right, we're on the... Right, we're now making our way to Germany. We've only been driving for an hour. been longer than that but no it's been quite quick um, okay nine hours of drive time remaining it says it's gonna take us seven hours to get there so it's gonna be really tight um, especially with the evening traffic that's gonna slow us down quite a lot it's currently only 11:30, but if it's gonna take us you know six and a half hours that's 12 that's six o'clock at night that is the evening traffic peak and slowing down like this for no reason is gonna cause us problems as well yes we have now entered Deutschland And then we'll be making our way into Austria. Those two petrol stations are really close to each other. Like we just went through one, there's another one.
Buy a nice ravine. 250 miles to go, 6 hours to go. Eight and a half hours of drive time. So we have two and a half hours kind of leeway here. Um, no panic yet. Um, I kind of think if we've got eight hours of drive time and it's 12 o'clock, so we have until, um, you know, 8 p.m. So we're not going that way. We're going straight ahead here. Um, so up until 8 p.m. So once we start getting around the 7 p.m. mark, if we still haven't delivered by that point, then it's kind of like we need to little bit panic a little, little bit panic. Yeah, panic a little bit, panic a little bit. Depending if we're like over, over five, ten mile away. Um, but I'm hoping the traffic won't be too bad. Uh, but we're now go just going to sit and cruise at 50 mile an hour the whole way. Uh, it should be motorway the whole way until we reach, um, until we reach Linz. Uh, the whole of Germany, well, down here has been reworked. So, um... And Austria as well, so it should be nice flowy junctions, which will also help us. Still don't know when update 1.5 is coming out, because I thought it was meant to come out in March or April. We're halfway through March basically, so I'm hoping within the next three four weeks it does come out. That's when obviously the graphics uh, and everything will be a lot better improved on the game. They said even like the first generation parts of the map, like the uh, the UK, um, should also look better. So we'll wait and see for that. Five hours to go. 213 miles. 212, it's just clocked to. So 212 and five hours. That's 40... 42? 42, 43 mile an hour average we're travelling. That sounds about right. I think we should be going about 50 mile an hour the whole way on the motorways and then... When we come into Linz, we'll be slowing down to 31. Uh, we're going off at the next junction. It keeps breaking us, which is a bit... Mm. Oh. This is what I mean. Now we have this traffic for some reason. Oh, it's a diversion. No. No, oh, it's a diversion. Ah, oh, ha 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 ha! That's not going to be great, is it? Great. So we've got to go the wrong way. I can't go up that way. Oh, that has added a lot to our time. 
that has added a lot to our time. I can't even... Right, we're going to turn off... Oh, we, need to go... we actually need to go that way. Are we going into Munich? I think we could go into Munich. So, uh, I recommend, obviously, when buying this game, the first ones to buy is obviously any DLCs connected to the map. So, uh, and for the price, I mean, the price point, um, going east is the cheapest at only £10, but it is also the oldest. It came out in 2013. Um, so, you know, the changes on there aren't that great. I might have to look at pulling over into a petrol station or something. This is ridiculous. Um, I'd I'd start with Scandinavia uh, DLC because um, you get the Scania and the Volvo factories up there, um, which is great. Um, it also comes with uh, I think the most cities. I want to say like cities ports come in there. Um, you can drive your double trailers up there, so that's also good. Um, and it is it is one of the nicest places to drive through. We are actually really screwed now. We have 6 hours 45 minutes of drive time left, and this is going to take us 6 hours 40 to get there. Oh, I've got to go down to this junction, down and back round. Oh, it's the. Hopefully, when we turn around and come back, we can just go through and they've cleared it out. Like we don't have to wait. If not, we're gonna have to go. I mean, yeah, we'd go down southwards. Um, I can't turn around here, can I? I don't think so. No, this, this services doesn't have a tunnel underneath. Um, we'll go around, yeah, I mean, well, Munich has a ring road around it, so we'll just go around the other way, if that is the case. We are like tight on our timings now. It never, right, it never offers me diversions when I'm doing like, you know, a standard delivery. But every time I've done an important one, diversion, and now urgent one, diversion. Right, we're going off here. Ugh. All right, we'll get past this truck. Break, 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 break. Stay in this lane. <sighs> Go up and round here. Right, hopefully, hopefully it has cleared. The diversion has cleared. If not, we'll have to go the other way around the ring road. Just basically going back on ourselves now. Yeah, I'd go with Scandinavia DLC. And then after Scandinavia DLC, 
Uh, I'd go uh, Viva La France. I'd go Viva La France. Because uh, with Viva La France, you can obviously go Iberia after if you want to, or you can go Italia. Um, but yeah, I, I'm not sure if you can buy the game with all the map packs as like a bundle. It is March Madness at the moment, so there would be a sale on. I'm guessing if you could in, during March Madness buy the base game and all the map DLC combined, it'd probably cost you a hundred pound. Uh, if every DLC is 90... The base game, I think, is 29.99 standard, and every DLC is 19.99, apart from Scandinavia, which is 9.99. Um, sorry, uh, apart from Going East, which is 9.99. I'm, I'm, I'm pretty sure during March Madness, they might discount it down to 100. I don't think how many DLCs are. I mean, you've got um, Iberia, France, Italia, Scandinavia, that's four, Going East, five, West Balkan, six, Road to Black Sea, seven, and I forget the other one now. Balkans. I think it is just called the Balkans. Or Red Sea. No, the Red is it Red Sea? I think it might be the Red Sea one. Called Red Sea. That's eight. It's eight DLCs. So it actually, might be like a hundred and fifty pound, all discounted together. Maybe eight. Eight times twenty is a hundred and sixty. Then your base game, like a hundred and ninety. Right. We need to get over. I don't think this is cleared because there's too much traffic. So we're gonna have to go the south way around. I don't think it is. No, it's not cleared, is it? Hold on. No, everyone's turning off. Right, hold on. We're going to park here for a sec so I can see the map. Because I... I don't want to go this way around. It's going to force us to go this way. Go to here. I should have gone. I should have gone up, and this way, and then down this, because I probably would have been about here by now. But someone's had an accident here, and it won't let us through. There's no road that connects into Munich, which is just really annoying. If I go through there, what are we looking at? Oh, we're looking at nine hours. If I go this way... It's not even trying to send me there. That's nine hours. That is... Oh... I don't think I can go through here. Do you know what? We're gonna risk it. We're gonna risk it. I can't go round. We're gonna be late. We're just gonna go through. I don't know what's happened down here. Look, there's a truck coming up on the junction. Right? That truck ahead of us just, has just come up on the junction. So why the hell are they blocking the road off for?
There's cars going past me now. They literally blocked it off for no reason. They blocked off the entire road here for no reason. What a joke. What a joke. It's blocked down there. There's an accident down below. That's what they've blocked it off on. Just the bridge we went over that I saw the crash down there. Why could why couldn't no one go across? Flipping ridiculous. Anyway, there's Bayern Munich Stadium. Uh the Allianz Arena. Um, doesn't look that great during the day compared to at night. Looks a lot better at night. Uh, what the hell? What the hell is going on? I mean, they could have just diverted people down here. Fine. Anyway, we have four hours, three minutes remaining till we need to sleep. It's saying to us we have four hours, five minutes till this is delivered. So this is going to be really close, really tight. Where's that car come from? What is going on? Have they driven through? That's insane. Right, we do need to move over. When I do an urgent delivery next, if I ever do an urgent delivery ever again, um, uh, any time there is a diversion, which is probably what will will happen, uh, I will pull over on the hard shoulder and I will have a look at the map and we will not follow what the sat-nav says and we will literally find another way around avoiding the road that it has blocked off. So we don't have this problem ever again. Because it is really annoying. Right, we can yeah, just move over. Three seventeen till we get there. Three twenty-two of driving time remaining, which means when we do deliver this for the next delivery, we are, it is definitely going to be. Why are you breaking for? It's definitely going to have to be sleep before the next delivery. Just hoping we don't get stopped now 
by an inspection station because if we get stopped we are definitely not making it on time definitely not making it with how much little time we have actually to sleep and everything we won't make it so we, we don't want to be stopped at a inspection station Crossed into Austria. Uh, we're going to stay in this lane. We're going straight ahead. Linz. Linz is on the signs. So we're following the signs to Linz. Five countries we've gone through to deliver this. I actually wonder what is the most amount of countries directly, obviously, not like snaking everywhere, but the most amount of countries you'd go through for a single delivery. It's got to be from probably Turkey to Portugal. Has got to be the worst. I mean, if, like, if we go from if we go from Portugal, you obviously go Portugal, Spain. I don't know that. Portugal, Spain, France, Italy, Slovenia, and then I kind of get lost on like what countries to go through. My geography on the eastern countries is not that great considering they're all really small and there's loads of them but you definitely have to go through Bulgaria and Turkey probably go through Romania and one more And one more, and one more. Maybe Slovakia, yeah, Slovenia, Slovakia. Or, Cro no, it's Croatia, isn't it? Yeah, Croatia. Slovenia, Croatia. Is that the most, or is it maybe up to Russia that might be the most? Because to go into Russia, you're going for Estonia, Latvia, Lithuania, Poland, Germany, France. Mm. Doesn't seem that much. Right, we have an hour and a half until we're meant to reach here. And we have an hour and 50 minutes of drive time remaining. So, it's still 20 minutes. But then it depends on the traffic within Linz of, are we going to still make it on time? And if we're going to get stopped at any inspection points. Why did they move back out? And they're moving back in. In, out, in, out, shake it all about. Fire engine going past.
straight ahead here because we're looking for Linz. Linz is straight ahead. With our journey actually going down on that version and back up, we might have discovered 25% of the map. Right, I think... There's the yawn. That's an hour and a half we have then. Yes, this is our turn off. We want to go towards Linz. Are they going to let us over? Please let us over. No, you just sit in there. Come on. Okay, yeah, there's a gap. Where hey. Break, 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 break. Break, 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 break. Right, so we've reached Linz. We should discover it very soon. It should go Linz discovered. Or have we got one more junction to turn off? Whoa! There we go, Linz discovered. Turning off at this one inwards. No straight ahead. We can't turn off at this one. Okay, break, 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 break. Cruise control at 60 kmh. We're still over 10 miles away. We've got 43 minutes of drive time remaining. All right, we can floor it back up to 50. Yeah, yeah, I know we're getting tired, but we just need to keep going. There we go, reached it. I think I see it on the sat nav our destination. Yes, I do. I see the red flag. turning off here. Just let gravity do its thing. Slow us down. And right at the roundabout. The service is in a sleep bed there, so we can actually sleep. And we've got a petrol station. Oh, brilliant. Brilliant, 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 brilliant. I thought we were meant to go to post bed. 
There's two entrances. Yeah, there's two entrances. Right. Uh, where do you need it? There. See, we should have come through the other entrance. I think I could turn around out there and then go into there. Yeah, we've got the exit here. I'm going to turn around out here. Oh! For sake, of course, a van comes down when I want to turn around here. What the hell was that? Pull on the swing this way. This must be in by now, surely. No, because it keeps swinging outwards for some reason. How long until I got to deliver this? I got, yeah, 50 minutes of drive time. It just won't swing in. It just will not do it. It will not get close to that wall. I'm trying to get as close to the wall as I possibly can. Right, that should be... Yeah, there you go. There we go. Right. Uncouple it. Okay. Woo! Okay, continue. Um... What we're going to do is we're actually going to go out to the petrol station now and then we're going to go sleep and then we'll see what um, what we have then for deliveries for the next episode and stuff like that. But let's just let's just get this out of here. Ah, just get out of here. Fill it with fuel first. Or actually, uh, we might as well just go straight to sleep because we can fill it with fuel afterwards. Because obviously, we have to go that side for getting jobs. So we'll go, we'll go to sleep because then obviously we're going to use fuel to get go here and go back. So. Right. Just saying, I park next to the the man. Yes. 
on, engine off, sleep. Ooh. We've got 270, yes. So we can actually... I should have bought the truck and the driver beforehand, shouldn't I? I think I had enough money to do it. Uh, <laughs> I think I had enough money to do it. Uh, but yeah, let's let's buy let's buy a truck. Mercedes, there. Buy online. Fleet configuration. Two two four. Purchase. That's our second one in Cardiff. There we go. And then we need to hire a driver. Hire driver. Uh, no one on long distance. They've all got two. They don't really care about fuel. So, quick delivery. Yeah, they're all on two, but they've all got quick. Yeah. So, this guy's the best then for us. So, if we hire this guy, uh, put them in Cardiff. Uh, we then need to go to driver manager and actually need to find out um, of any drivers that are. So that's balanced. That's balanced now. That's balanced. That's still long distance one to go. That's still long distance. This one, long distance. Uh, map view. Anyone close? Obviously, they're just there now. Oh, Christine is close to delivering. Gregor's is almost there as well. They've got no... Oh, they're coming back to London with nothing. She's delivering? Oh, she's so close to delivering. And where's my other driver? Then? Ah, up here. Oh, they're both up here. Close to delivering. Just started their journey back. Okay, got a delivery. He's got nothing. Oh, it's me. <laughs> it's me. Everyone's got something. Yeah, I was like, yeah, I was like, yeah, I was like, they got nothing. No, it's me, it's me, it's me, it's me, it's me. Uh, <laughs> what we're looking at here then from post bed. Uh, RT log has got cars. Um, but we're looking at post beds. One's here. Rice. We can make that bigger. That's only got 14 minutes to go. So by the time we actually drive out, get fuel and go there, that might have gone. Um... So we might need a new one. Uh, we've got plastic granules. Back to Spain. Um, on here, what we're looking at milk. Milk is the most expensive. Um, don't really want oversized cargo. They're all oversized. Juice concentrate. Linz to Linz. That's okay. That's how big Linz is. Oh, Linz is actually really big, yeah. Postman's sort of nowhere. You want to see... So, there's two ITCs. What? There's also the petrol station kind of for like the motorway through here. Two ITCs. Interesting. Anyway, we'll leave that for the next episode. Um, that's it for today. We're back down to like £45,000, but there's no real issue with that. I have got the nice 120 followers, so I have to update that, and we'll see how much we can get uh, for the next episode. Uh, in the next episode, we are going to go from postpad. We'll see, we'll see what we can get. Uh, it probably will be another two deliveries before we get our next truck again. But at least we have another one going around, which means more money should be coming in. Uh, but as always, guys, if you have enjoyed, please like and subscribe. Watch me on YouTube, follow me on Twitch. Trying to get to, I don't know now, I need to get a new goal. But trying to get some more followers, but I'm trying to desperately get affiliated. So if you do follow me, please watch me live. That's the only way it's possible to get affiliated is for having people watch me live. Uh, and of course, check out the channel on other social media as well for other stuff I might also enjoy. As always, guys, thanks for watching. Take care and...